If you guys would like to get yourself some official SimC merchandise, check out my Spreadshirt link in the description below for t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and cups. If you do make a purchase, send me a photo on Twitter, but regardless, let's get stuck into the video. Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Civilization 6. We're playing as Scotland, Robert the Bruce, on the Rise and Fall DLC. This is episode 5. Welcome back to the series, guys. If you still are enjoying it and would like to see more, the best way to ensure more content is leave a like. Subscribe if you're new around here, and let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. This series will end in the not-too-soon future, so would you like to see more Civ 6 on the channel? Just want to start off by saying as well for this episode, a huge thank you to 2K and Firaxis again. At the start of the series, they did give me a copy of Civ 6 for free, along with the Rise and Fall DLC. So a massive thank you to the guys over at 2K. So, let's get stuck back into the series and uh, recap where we are. It's currently turn 173. We're currently on the front lines against Georgia here now. Pushing up in the north, we have Stirling, Castle, Edinburgh, Rottingham, Dumfries, ha the Fort Haggis, and Aberdeen. These three territories of Rottingham, Aberdeen, and Fort Haggis will form a Dutch territory, so we have to take them out further on. We are probably going for the domination victory now. I'll go through the world rankings, and we'll continue our war against the Georgians. We're probably going to take Tel Aviv and Potsy in today's episode, so we've got a massive war against them. So, we're currently getting... Um, one lot of artillery, one medic, medic from Fort Haggis. We're getting some pike and shot riflemen in Rottingham and Dumfries. And in Edinburgh, we're getting science victories. So basically, what I, what I want to focus on for this episode is finishing off Georgia while also maintaining a some sort of science boost along with military, military buildings, really, for the time being. Unfortunately, where we started up here in the north, it wasn't too bad of a start, especially on the coast, but... The way we got boxed in, we had to focus on military, we had to focus on production, we took Rotterdam to even, to even get in this situation, we had to fight for it, and I guess we might as well just continue it up, you know. Okay, so let's have a quick look at it around the world. So we've got Georgia down here who we're at war with, we've got a couple of city-states of Auckland, Stockholm, Brundai, the Mongols are down here as well. Um, we're currently on unfamiliar terms with them because they are technically at war with the Kree and we have a military alliance with them. So this is one of the continents. Moving over here to Chocolate Land. Look at this! Look at my chocolates here. I'd love to be, I'd love to settle here, but I don't know if it's going to work. There are a couple of rivers and such as well. Okay, moving over to the second continent. Now, here is Korea. Now, Korea is at war with the Kree. We currently have a military alliance with them. They are really far ahead in tech. Like, they've got infantry. We really should have probably rushed that a long time ago. But please do take into consideration that this is my first Civ 6 playthrough. Yes, I have played 5 quite a bit, but Civ 6 is a whole different story. Oh, I'm nearly 28. Shit. Okay, I've really got to rectify that. I might actually need to change some of my cities to focus on. I am getting a commercial hub. I only just caught that then. Wow, that could have been a huge, huge problem if I didn't catch that earlier. Okay, so that's sort of how we go. We've got an alliance with the Kree. Um, they're at war with Korea, and they're at war with, um, of course, Georgia. So let's have a quick look at the overall victory. Science-wise, we're currently at 78 science per turn, which is really not good for my turns. It's just basically my start. I had a shocking start. Korea, it's at 134. Um, Korea's at 106. Relatively to my continent, Genghis and Tamar is quite low. Culture-wise, we're in second. We're leading in domination as we have 667 war score. How much do... Wow, Tamar's only 70 here. Religious victory, we're currently in third. That's creeping up on us a bit. Uh, we need to really keep an eye up on that. Here's the score, here's the science. Culture-wise as well, we're only at two tourists. Domination, we have the uh, Wilhelminas, the former Dutch Empire's capital. So Genghis Khan with Shintoism is converted to Sivs, Tamar, and obviously his own. The Powder Maker has converted Korea and Korea over to Eastern Orthodoxy. And we obviously have our Civ converted. Right, all right. Okay, so basically, like I said, we're going to continue up with our military stuff. Let's take Tel Aviv now. We have four ships on the coast here dealing with them. We have three lots of artillery here, one catapult, one knight, one swordsman. Over here we have two lots of cannons, one swordsman and one archer as well. So let's have a crack at trying to bring down the city of Tel Aviv. I have as well put in the... 
I've put, um, I've written down some name suggestions as well. I want to try and keep this Scottish theme going. Now, I'll put in the description below the Rise and Fall um, Steam page if you want to go have a quick look at that and maybe read about some more information or maybe even purchase it for yourself. It's a decent DLC and it adds a hell of a lot more than the base game, of course. So, Tel Aviv now has been taken. Do my. No, privateers actually can't go in. That's fine. We've got some. Uh, what galleys on the coast. So we're going to be able to push in and take Tel Aviv now, which is fantastic. Charge in, galleys. Take it for Scotland. Robert the Bruce has taken Tel Aviv now. Excellent stuff. Okay, should we keep the city? It has olives. It's got fish as a resource. It's on the coast. Uh, let's keep three pop, one district, Really, in the grand scheme of things, it's quite relatively new. Let's build a granary here now. So we've taken Tel Aviv quite convincingly. Let's actually try and have a pop at the capital again. Their capital, so... We might as well just put pressure on them. I don't know if we're going to be able to actually... Sort of take... I'm trying to think about how I can sort of swing some guys there. Regardless, let's have another... Crack at... What's this? Batum. Batumi. God knows how to say that properly. I'll keep my swordsman there. Um, you know what? You might actually be alright there. Let's try and continue to get that conversion up. We're going to be able to take Potty on the other side here quite easily. I'm thinking we should name Potty Perth. It's another city starting with P and it's quite short. And then probably Tel Aviv. I don't know, something... Maybe Dundee. I want to keep Inverness or St. Anthony's. Motherwell sounds cool. Regardless, let's take Potty now with this lot of swordsmen. Charge in, Med. Be relentless and ungiving. Slaughter them all. So we've taken Potty now. Uh, we've got stone as a resource, olives, rice. This is also a relatively new city as well. No districts. So we've now we've taken Potty here. We're going to be able to heal up. And Auckland's here. So we're really going to have to focus our fire through here. So let's sort of slowly but surely swing our units around. These sieges of Potty and um, Tel Aviv took so long, so I might even skip a couple of other turns ahead. Like I said, we want to try and... Oh, we definitely need to repair stuff where we can, and we need to um, heal up. Fortify and heal where we can. So Auckland... I think we're at war with Auckland, actually. Yeah, we actually are at war with Auckland. you got to keep an eye on city-states. So they can creep up on you, but we really need to be focusing on the... Wow, what's that? Looks like a, be a building I saw in Sweden once, to be honest. I don't know what that is. Regardless. Anyway, let's keep up the initiative. We're trying to... We're going to need to fix our gold problem at the moment. We've actually fixed it quite a bit. Our science has come up a tad. At the moment, tech tree-wise, we want to go for... Where is... Oh, where is it? We want to go for infantry in 12 turns. Civics, we're currently... But yeah, because just look at that. The Korea are just so far ahead. I might actually quickly, while I'm still at the start of the video, I might have a quick look at the other Civ's, like, basic start position. Because I could... I don't know. I, I think I was a little bit hard done by from what I wanted to do. I think I was just unlucky. I was a boxing. I should have been way more aggressive, popping sitting, cities down a lot quicker. Left, right, and centre. So let's see the... We can't quite see their starting position, but we can see, like... The Crete. So this is their capital here in Mick. They got a couple of wonders down. Um, by the look of it, they actually didn't have a very good start. Deer. Deer. Maybe the mountains really helped them out. I'm not too sure. That looks glorious. They had a bit of rice here and there. Maybe it was like their couple of second cities. I think Korea has a really good start. Yeah, look at this. This. Oh no, where's the Korea's capital? Here. Okay, so they had horses, stone, and silk really early. Look at what silk they've got there. Okay, so that massively helped them out, more than anything. Aberdeen isn't even that good of a city. It's okay, but yeah, we've still got long ways to go in this uh, Scotland campaign. Let's end the turn and um, see if the Georgians try and really throw anything back at me. Um, there's not really much else we can do here. We can't get any shots off. Um... I'm trying to think maybe I should swing around here. We, we want to try and... Yeah, what can you actually hit? You can't hit anything. To be fair, I think they're going to target that catapult. So we might as well just push down and replace the tile where we can. Ethan, or Ethan Orthodox is coming up. Whoa! 
Okay. One of my privateers just got... Oh, it's been destroyed. Flat out destroyed by a, a cannon there. So it looks like they've got their senses together in regards to that. Uh, this is an Auckland catapult. Really got to keep an eye out on that. So, resistance must be... Yeah, 50-50 here. We really need to... Uh, fix up this. Massively. Whoa, yeah. We'll try our best to continue on. Let's swing some cannons down. We really just need people to sit in there. Yeah, that's what it is. We need people to actively sit in the city. Okay. Let's just try and maybe have a crack at their privateers. Try and reduce them where we can. Man, the Kree have, like, shipping containers. It's crazy. I just haven't had time to focus on that sort of stuff just yet. Like, I've been full-on military. Like, you can't really stop when you've invested so much into military here. I'm going to have to switch over some of my production at some point to fix up my my health, uh, my um, gold deficit. If we can take Batumi, it might be alright. We need to probably start pillaging and stuff, you know. Like with this knight, we might need to start just going rampant, but we're going to be able to, we're going to want to take these soon. To be fair, we'll swing our cannons around, Batumi will fall shortly. No growth. Ugh. It's going to be tough. But in the relatively grand scheme of things, I don't think we're doing too bad for this campaign. The siege still continues. Ugh. We're getting attacked on the coast here at Tel Aviv. Oh no, there's one of my frigates going there. Ugh. It's not looking good. Caraval frigate. What do I actually technically have? A privateer. Alright, well, um... That kind of says it all. Oh, what? Unit is available for promotion. Yeah, that's fine. City lost to loyalty. Tel Aviv is now rebel. And free city musketman. There's not much I can do there. I'm losing loyalty because there's so much adjacency stuff. I, I thought I could try and hold this stuff, but it looks like I'm going to just have to burn it to the ground from now on because we can't seem to hold it, which, which sucks. The free city of Tel Aviv. Damn it. So it looks... Yeah. Because war's tough in Civ 6, especially with, like, war weariness and and whatnot. Where are our reports? Yeah, I couldn't really see where the war weariness, weariness stuff is. Oh, that sucks. Rightio. Let's bomb Batumi again. But I don't know how well we're going to be able to hold it. Looks like in, on the coast here, we're not doing really well. We have got them quite low, though. Alright. That's not going to give us any chance. I guess we might as well flee back. There's no point of being down here. We need to protect our, our cities, because they could quite possibly get attacked now. So let's head back to Sterling. We lost our frigate. We lost the naval fight. We really need them to come over and help out, you know. The Kree. Oh god damn it, those rebels have attacked my cavalry here on the flank. Improvement makes straight road. Got some new policies that might be able to help us. Okay, the main new ones are public works and sky and skyscrapers. Production towards industrial areas and later production towards builders and, and trainers. No, we don't really want that sort of stuff to be honest. Okay, two of my alliances have now expired with um the Kree and the Mongols. Let's renegotiate with them, declare friendship. Nope, don't assume so much. Okay, okay. Can we make a deal with it all? Nah. Doesn't look like the Mongols are going to renegotiate their friendship with us. Perhaps the Kree. Well, I'm happy. Yep, so the Kree. <laughs> My man! <laughs> Excellent stuff. Uh, let's go back for another military alliance. I'm more than happy to accept. Can you give me some gold, though? Nah. Can you give me anything? Sort of help me out, you know? Regardless, we've got a military alliance with them now. What else could we negotiate? Cities for exchange. Now, what can you give me for some gold per turn? 
Yeah, it doesn't. Do it. There's nothing really I can offer them. Well, at least I've got military sort of stuff with them now. Okay, so my governors is level. My one of my governors is leveled up. I could go with the educator, maybe get more production towards theaters and buildings and stuff. Um, and great person. I think I'm gonna have to. I've sort of went with the Victor. So I went with um the Castell and more. Look, we probably could go with the Cardinal plus ten religious strength. Uh, that's really gonna help us out, I think. Production holy sites. Now nah, religious strength is gonna what we're gonna need more so of because as you can see religious wise it's kind of neck and neck and it is a huge concern like especially look at this like Eastern Orthodox is really trying to spread hard okay so we're, we're being flanked here there's not really too much we can do about it let's send my quad room to my capital and we'll send the privateer to Edinburgh I'll put the the privateer in Edinburgh Edinburgh because I think it's probably going to be attacked Firstly, um, musketmen here. We need to neutralize these guys, or we're going to just get hammered in the rear. We should be able to put some pressure on them, and we'll run them down with my knights now. That's still not going to finish them off, which sucks. Look, we can take not hitting the city for a turn there, as we do have an additional shot from here. Let's continue the uh, the pressure up. Batumi, Bat Batumai, however you want to say it, I don't really care, it's going to be renamed something else eventually, okay, I love how the Kiwis have a catapult there, my gold's coming up, we switched over back to gold, focus, uh, we'll keep my saws in there because we're going to need to probably run them in at some point. Try and go to the other side of the river. Oh, I hate when it auto locks like that. I need to turn that off. Who else needs orders? My arch is here. Just fortify. There's no point in really moving yourselves, really. So, we lost Tel Aviv and we're still trying to hit the Georgians. Nearly back to square one. Oh, we've been hit there, there, though. Oh, looks like their frigates are trying to help out, which is fantastic. They might even try and retake their city of Tel Aviv. Um, my cavalry's been flanked by those musketmen. It's going to take another lot of bombards there. Like, we should have just raised the city. Kind of sucks. Those loyalty miss bonuses and stuff. Alright, let's have another crack at these guys then. And we'll let the cavalry run down the stragglers. That's fine. Let's try and put some more religious pressure back on them. While simultaneously bombarding the capital. Because we're, we're so close to actually taking it. My cavalry's fine there. We'll swing you guys back. Man, if we just had another bombardment strength there. I really want to try and take their capital.
You know what? It's probably time to rename Potty to to Perth. So let's do now that now then. Keep the P. Perth. Boom. Okay, let's have a a shell at a bat. We might be able to take it now. I might be able to swing my cavalry around. We're gonna come bloody close if we do. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get it now. Yes. Batum has fallen. Charge cavalry! Charge through the gate. Whatever comes through those gates. Your men of Georgia. Eureka boosted, and we've taken Batum. Now, what should I rename? Like, I definitely want to keep this city. Six pop, two districts. We definitely want to keep them more so than uh, Tel Aviv, most definitely. So what should we rename this to? I think, like, Inverness or something. That'll be quite cool. Um, yeah, we've got Dundee, Inverness, St. Andrews, Motherwell, Wick, Fort Williams, another Scottish town. Let's go Inverness, I, I think. Inverness. Cool. Cool beans. I guess we're going to have to push upon uh, their capital now. That's going to be even more difficult. Look at that. Look at that river there. It's like the um, the Danube in Romania, near Dacia and whatnot. That's going to be tough to take. There's a couple of these districts, military districts. Yeah, Compared to the Mongols, this one is a little bit iffy. From the coast, it's all right, but... They're not going to expect an attack from the... Well, they probably weren't expecting an attack from the north. Well, would you look at this? A bunch of Kiwis sneaking about the bushes. Let's rain fire and death upon them. Get the Kiwi boggers. The sheep shaggers. <laughs> wow. Okay, guys. So, we've had one of the brand new features come up in the Rise and Fall DLC. This is one of the enactments. So we've got an ongoing military emergency. Robert the Bruce. Bruce. Bruce? <laughs> Robert Luthbrook. <laughs> Sounded like I was about to say Ragnar Luthbrook anyway. Though at the front, at the forefront of the world civilization just captured Bat... Ooh, me. Okay. Robert the Bruce, runaway success is a matter of concern. A member of the emergency must capture specific set of Robert the Bruce. Defend... Right. So we need to defend... Inverness for 25 turns. During this, target units have a minus 2 combat strength. What? Member units gain plus 1 moving in target. Additional members will have peace, open borders, and shared visibility. All members will go to war on the target. If the, if the members succeed, members split the pot of 2,600 gold. If they fail, the target receives 1,300 gold. Right, so it looks like Georgia wants to basically call the other civs to to attack me. Um, it's going to be interesting to see if any of them actually come. Potentially, I don't. I haven't ever gotten this far in the game. Let's declare friendship. No, we're in. We're in the process of a turn. Wow, who the hell was that? A lone rider. Housing. Peace negotiated with Khan. Sien Duk Stockholm. Alright. Okay, so let's try and renegotiate. Let's declare friendship. Nah, he really doesn't like me too much. Is there anything else with the Kree we can make any more deals with? No, not by the look of it, unfortunately. Alright. Um, and Korea. Uh, no. We have... Oh, whoa, 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 never mind. Whoops, that was bloody hell. Nearly launched all the nuclear missiles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we need to hold this for 24 turns. It looks like no one else is really coming else to, to come and have a crack at me, which is good. So we'll sort of see if anything comes of it. Ah, oh, welcome, pound maker um, of the Cree. Right, so what are you going to offer me? I love the painting there. Look at that. Looks beautiful. Anyway, he's going to offer me three gold... Two gold for 30 turns for tea. Uh, so he's going to give me tea. I'm going to give him olives. Um, that's quite offer. Yeah, I'm going to accept that. I don't really mind that. I've been wanting to trade with you for a long time. That's really going to help us out. Well, we're actually in range of Kut Asai. Whoa, we're getting... 
A little bit here. The industrial area in a couple of turns. Well, we're going to be able to bombard the capital, which is fantastic for us. We're, we're going to be able to get some decent hits off. I don't know if I can actually reach from there. No. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I'm going to pillage the road. If I can't hit, I'll pillage. Uh, we might be able to go from there, though. Th yeah, we're going to move this one because this has a core strength of one. I'll move you back here because I really want to heal you up. Because we're going to need to eventually have someone charge in. You know what I'm saying? We've got cannons here in Perth. We just need to start putting pressure. City losing loyalty. We need more amenities. We can get more faith stuff going on. Uh, we might need to swing my... No, my missionary's okay here. We might need to boost up Catholicism in Perth, though. We might need to leave you there. I think, like, the big, the, the bigger the military presence, presence the, um, the better the city is as well. I guess we go into production. Is that really even going to change much things? Because we're going to have to sort of get the amenities up, housing, food, and, and stuff. Ten turns, we're going to be able to get a granary, which is huge for this city. There's not really much else stuff we can repair either. Oh, we've got a swordsman here. Let's swing you down. I want to try and eventually heal you back up. Let's have a see what the Georgians retaliate with. Okay, we're going to be able to really rock the city in a second. Alright, let's have another huge bombardment. They didn't even bother hitting those other guys. Look, we're going to go for a promotion to heal you auto back up. Yeah, that's what we sort of want. It's going to take a while to hit the capital. 61 strength. It's quite convincing. We're only a couple turns off our own. Yeah, we need to yeah, stay there until you're healed up. Until our own infantry, which is going to be massive for us. Yeah, we're slowly but surely trickling on. That military... Yeah, it doesn't look like they're having a crack. Oh. Right, I was going to say, we're at war with Mongolia. Why are they so keen on getting there? Okay. <laughs> Genghis Khan is still continuing to flip-flop. If we get him back on our side along with the Kree, it's going to help us finish off the last of the um, Georgians, potentially even the Koreans later on down the track. So yeah, my friend, I'm more than happy to accept an alliance. We'll renegotiate some turns at the top of this. We're currently on the front line still with Georgia still. Whoa, how's that privateer had a crack there? I moved my um, cannon over here. Hopefully we don't lose him. I wanted to pillage this wheat. That's what I ideally wanted to do because he's just sort of sitting pretty, you know? But pillaging their wheat might be able to do some sort of damage. Whoa! So Tel Aviv's been taken back. Free city... Yeah, it's been persuaded. Well, that's alright. Not really much else we can do. Let's um, pillage the tile. That's going to give us that health back. We can't double back here. That's fine. Let's continue the pressure on the capital. Surely the people in the city aren't going to be wanting to stay here much longer. Still raining fire and death upon them. We're still continuing to fortify and heal up where we can. Along with my swordsman here. So at the moment, still skipping through the turns. Not really much, much else is still going on. We're slowly but surely... Like, the thing is, right... Attacking in Civ just takes so much longer. So let's um, make a deal. Um, alliances. What are you sort of interested in? Economic, cultural, or religious? Probably economical. Yes, let's accept it then. That's really going to help us. Let's start trading. I'm not going to buy an Emerson. Yeah, look at that. 16 gold already. 73. It's been sort of, it got really, really precarious at, at one point, but we seem to be alright. We're, st we're slowly, we need to get good, we need campuses, we need happiness, and we need um, markets. We need to get our money situation up, because we let it get too low, to be honest. World rankings wise, how, how are we sort of looking? Fourth in science, they're still blitzing a pass, but it's still on 98 though. Culture's down, faith, so they still haven't conquered all the religious stuff so we're still quite powerful wow it's interesting to see that the Cree like look at this super continent here right in this Ethan or Ethan orthodoxy Shinto is still quite big in the south yeah so it's interesting where you can sort of go 
what like sieve strats you can do if you really want to. 20 turns to still hold out. Slowly but surely making progress against Georgia. Hopefully that cannon doesn't go. I'm going to fall him back in a sec. Pillaging that wheat will compromise the city on the coast there. Now speaking of compromises, hopefully I don't get smacked on the coast here. So city, wow, okay. So we've got a barbarian caravan. Um, and they're swimming with the fishes instantly. Production here. We need food in Fort Haggis. We need more housing here. Can purchase some more stuff with Faith. That will be another missionary, which is fine. Alliance level increased with Khan. Alright, let's have a look with good old Gengi. Genga, Genga. Nothing really much else we can do. Barbarians approach. I'm surprised we're seeing barbs this uh, late in the game. Let's continue to keep the pressure up. Um, I'm trying to think, should we get that bonus promotion? No, well, it's, probably, it's probably not a bad idea. Okay, let's swing these guys back. There's no point in letting you just cop shots. Let's continue to fortify until they're healed properly. Tel Aviv, yeah, took about compromises. Hopefully we don't get flanked. That was the point I was trying to make. Because now they've taken the city back. But if we go for the capital, we could very well sue for peace. The thing is, right, and see if to get the domination victory, you only need to take the capital. So if we take this, maybe push and take Auckland, take these two against the Mongols, take that. We've got this continent. Um, it's a whole different story with Korea and potentially the Korea, but yeah. We're just really far behind on, on science, I think. Look at that. They're light years ahead of me. It just sort of sucks. We were forced to go into a domination victory so early on. We didn't really have a choice. It was fight or flight. We fought and... Basically, Korea and the Kree had, like, no wars, except for the uh, very short one, not too long ago. They're just sort of holding up well, you know? Why did I think that was the capital? <laughs> it's Telebisi, that's what it is. Why did I think this was the capital? Anyway, it's probably going to be easy to... Oh, hmm. I still think we should... Why did I think... I always thought this was the capital, I don't know why. It's not, but we still need to take the city regardless. Okay, guys, welcome back. Katassi is on its last sort of marching orders here. We're going to be able to take the city now, thankfully. Once we've taken the city, uh, I'm still sort of umming and ahhing whether or not to raise it to the ground because Tel Aviv here, the thing is, right, it rebelled and then went back straight back to him. So I think I'm better just harming the Georgian economy because, okay, theoretically, I take this city, right? I don't know how many, how many turns was it? 10, 15 turns? If I don't take Tilabasi in 10, 15 turns, it's going to rebel back to them. We're going to be, like, fucked in the rear here. So I don't want to do that. Let's rain fire and death upon Katassi. And I reckon what we should do is uh, raise it to the ground. We'll keep the capital, which is fine. We might even very well be able to negotiate with Georgia to get some war remands. So what's it at now? Yeah, we're going to be able to take the city easy. It's just the loyalty mechanic in ga in this game, because, like, obviously Civ tries to somewhat discourage you from actually going for a domination victory, but the cavalry's in. It's a massive city, Katassi. But, you know what? 11 pop, 5 districts. We're not going to be able to hold it, because it's just going to go straight back to the enemy, especially when I'm surrounded here. We're better off going for the capital. There's no way we can hold it. Let's raise the city... To the ground. Oh my god. <laughs> we could very well just like build a city back there, you know. So for now, I'm going to swing down and hit Tilabasi. I want to try and get some ships as well at some point. Uh, I want to swing... Oh, there's a, there's a private here pushing up. No, a caravan. Well, seeing as we spent a lot of the episode actually fighting here, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to skip a bit ahead and we'll, we'll come halfway through the siege of Tilabasi and try and take the Georgian capital in today's episode. Okay, guys, welcome back. I've skipped a little bit ahead. It is turn 198. The siege of the Georgian capital has come off well. We're currently in a dark age, actually, because we didn't actually hit that many objectives. At the moment, we're still trying to get infantry down, trying to fix up production in Rottingham, and we're getting more caravels of production here now, so we need to send this privateer down. So, we did raise, of course, before... The last Georgian territory. Well, now we're going to finish them off 
It's been a hard slog. We've been in a golden, a dark age now. Eight turns, the military emergency. We're still trying to hold Inverness. And we're going to be able to take the capital now. Excellent stuff. Charge in, brave knight of Scotland. Brave sons of Scotland. And we've done it. Freedom! Unit captured. Another poor decision has become your good fortune. You've captured a unit from Georgia. How fantastic is that? And we are definitely going to keep the Georgian capital of Tbilisi. I think it's how you say it. God knows. 11 pop, 5 districts. Let's keep the city. Excellent stuff. We've still got Tel Aviv to the north. And we've still got Gork Gorky. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to take that off. Um, maybe during the next episode. So um, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to continue to finish off Georgia in the next episode. And then we'll just sort of see where we're at. We've only got probably 130 turns roughly left. Looking at the world rankings, we're currently pretty far behind in science of 81. Yeah, the, yeah we're going to get beaten in science if we're not careful. I was just unlucky with my start, and that Civ 6 is really hard for a domination victory. Okay, the Korea currently culturally as well. They're really quite well. Domination, I'm doing incredibly well. I have three of the capitals in domination, as you can see. I have, sorry, two of the capitals. To win, or oh, religiously as well. Wow. Oh, okay, it's only flicked up because we've, we've knocked out Civs, right. Because at the moment, we only need to take the Mongolian capital, which... Well, it's easier said than done. We need to take the Korean capital. And then eventually the, um, the Cree. But at the moment, the Cree, just look at this, right? They are so far ahead of me. They still have battering rams, but, yeah, I think the Cree are just too technologi technologically superior and ahead of me. What's that? they got artillery. Oh, well, um... Look, we're not doing too bad in our first playthrough, but we'll just have to see how we go. We might need to pivot, but I think domination is probably the way to go. We could try and go through science, but I don't know. Maybe with the power of Georgia, Amsterdam at our back, we, we could make some headway, but we'll just have to see. But unfortunately, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've been enjoying this series as much as I've had. I've had an absolute blast. Going to continue to pump out more episodes on the channel. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another Civ 6 series. I'm probably going to think of playing Australia as my next faction on the Rise and Fall DLC with the new factions, of course. As an Australian, I feel like I should play as the Aussies. It'd be something fun to do. Just want to say another huge thank you to 2K and Firaxis for sending me a copy of Civ 6 and the Rise and Fall DLC for free. It's helped out the channel a bunch. And stay tuned for a lot more of these Civ 6 Let's Plays. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you'd like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys would like to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below. Maybe you can pick up a strategy game you haven't picked up just yet. Maybe Hearts of Iron, maybe Crusader Kings 2, maybe a Total War. Check out my G2A affiliation link in the description below for cheap and reliable games. I do recommend going and checking out the prices even. There's some really good prices on there. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again make sure to take care of yourselves go out and have a fantastic rest of your day my name is Ben Simsy. goodbye really close cinematic shots here pushing through the bridge oh look at <laughs> that was probably the shot of the video there